I'm so excited to share with you a couple of my favorite episodes that let you enjoy the chocolate you crave without having to unwrap a single candy bar. They're fun, they're easy, they're healthy, and they include my favorite, dark chocolate truffles with coconut oil. Dark chocolate homemade truffles are super easy to make and you can do a really simple vegan swap. Mixture is nice and chilled, looking great. Now let's make our little scoops. An ice cream scoop makes this really simple. You can also use teaspoon measures. Now the trick here is to not overheat the chocolate. And if your chocolate begins to get a little soft, you can always throw it back in the refrigerator. So I really love using toasted coconut flake here because it has a nice crunchy texture, nice toasted flavor, helps bring out the coconut oil. These are great to enjoy with friends, family, also make a wonderful gift. Now, which one to try? I think I'm gonna go for the almond. Hard to decide which one to try. Mmm. Oh yeah. Rich and chocolatey, this will satisfy any sweet tooth. Dark chocolate and sea salt are one of my favorite combinations and a guaranteed crowd pleaser. You only need three ingredients. So choose a dark chocolate that's 70% cocoa. That way you have less added sugar and more of those really healthful antioxidants. Smooth with a offset spatula to make it nice and even. So we're going to add to this a quarter cup of shelled pistachios, just really roughly chopped. So pistachios add a really nice crunch, nice heart healthy fats, beautiful color. So sprinkle this on top of the chocolate. Last handful here. Gorgeous. Now for the finishing touch, I like to add a good sprinkle of flaky sea salt. This helps balance out the sweetness in the chocolate, brings out the flavor of the pistachios, also adds a nice crunch. Looks great. Let's try it. Mmm. Thumbs up. Cherry season is one of my favorites and there's not a simpler recipe using up all this great produce than chocolate dipped cherries. All you need are two cups of washed and thoroughly dried cherries, one and a half ounces of dark chocolate, preferably 70% or higher. That just means it has a higher cocoa content and less sugar. Melt the chocolate, dip your cherries, set it on a sheet pan, and that's it. So it's been about 15 minutes and my cherries and chocolate are nice and set. The way you can tell is just by peeling them up off the parchment and they should come up easily, just like that. So this is one of my favorite things to serve. It beats a bowl of cherries because it has dark chocolate on it. Who doesn't love that? So I can't think of a more delicious and healthy dessert than this. Hope you enjoy them.